Hello there everybody, my name is Waddles and welcome back to another snapshot coverage video. Today I'm going to talk about 18W16A, the newest snapshot, and I get to deliver some amazing news to you today. Finally, after years of me dreaming about this, Mojang has added UFOs that shoot cow laser beams. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm on today, I don't know what I'm talking about, I had a lot of coffee before this video, sorry, but 18W16A is actually out, no UFOs in sight. But we do have a new custom biome tool, a new world creation option. Here I am in a mutated swamp biome. In 18W16A, the biggest new feature is this new buffet world generation option. So I think it's time to swing back into the menus actually and show you exactly what that is. So if we go into single player and then create a new world, we can name the world whatever. Let's name it New World Buff uh, Buffet. Uh, yeah that biffed that works um we're gonna go into creative this is all the same here what you're looking for is more world options and then world type default now if you click on this you get super flat as usual large biomes as usual and then amplified as usual and then buffet this is the new option here now basically what this option is is a way to generate a world that is one single biome so we can use different world generators here of course and then we can choose from all of these biomes if we want a world that is just desert hills we can do that now and if you look through all these then there's these mutated biomes down here and i'm not sure what that is that's really interesting down here all of these mutated things uh like i just said i was just in a mutated swamp so not sure what all the mutated stuff is but let's go with mesa bryce let's find out what that is all of this is all the same and then um create new world here we go it'll load the world and then when the world loads it generates a world that is only one biome forever so this is the mesa bryce world really really cool looking i love all of this rock formation stuff just super awesome now i could see this feature being useful if you wanted to do like say like a moon themed survival and you wanted to you know generate a mesa and pretend it's the moon or or you know mars or whatever you're trying to do kind of cool a neat little world generation feature but obviously not going to be practical in survival if you're trying to do 100 percent survival in this world that might be a little hard you'll be cut off of a lot of items but a neat feature nonetheless with this snapshot bojang has said that they are mostly done adding new features which means 1.13 or 1.3 or the update aquatic should be right around the corner which is kind of cool now there is a few other changes here in this update but they're not that interesting so i'll go right through them or a lot of them real quickly here but the first one is no particle effects on the turtle helmet finally which is nice you still get the uh or the effect i mean but uh you, you still get the effect but no particles which is nice the blue ice is a little less slippery, but still super slippery. Not that you could really tell here, but it's a little less slippery. Coral fans will now generate in the world here, and you need Silk Touch to pick up coral blocks, which is uh, something. Still no word on any kind of farming of coral, unfortunately. I really hope that gets added. There's been changes to how oceans will generate, so it looks a little more natural, or generates a little more natural, hopefully. And then a whole lot of other smaller changes. What I'll do is I'll throw a screenshot up on the screen right here so you can read them, but really not too much new that's interesting other than the new world generation feature. Which I must say is actually pretty cool now that I'm here in a warm ocean and seeing coral all around me. It is actually pretty cool and I think I'll get some good use out of this. But will you? Will you ever be using this buffet world generation? What do you think? Tell me what you're thinking down below. If I miss something, call me out on it. Go in the comments and drop a comment. Maybe I don't know about it. And let me know what you're thinking about the new update. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Waddles and go have a good day. I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.